So, Paul Cheltenham, on the horizon, brave man's game, you decided to swerve the Beffer Denman chase and just go straight to the Blue Ribbon event in March. Um, looking forward to him, obviously. Yeah, I'm very pleased with the way he looks. Um, it was the right thing to do. I had thought about it. Um, but then last year it worked very well. He was at his best. I don't think I had the... I don't think I probably got it completely right with him in, in the autumn with, you know, Weatherby and Haydock and Kempton. He ran very well at Kempton. I don't think there'd have been much between him and Shiskin in that race that day. I've got no doubt about that. Uh, Harry's flu, but I think we can get, get him better than what we've had him so far. So we felt straight to Cheltenham, get him fresh and well. Look, the winner, last year's winner is going to take an awful lot of beating, but there's several horses, Shiskin, Brave Man's Game, etc. Bubbling underneath, um, fast and slow was a very smart horse as well. Bubbling under the surface, it was a good race, but we thought go straight there, fresh and well, and um, very happy with him. Excellent. And Stage Star and Hitman, two potential runners in the Ryanair. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know about Hitman. He ran very well on the weekend with second Shiskin. That's good form. He, he ran a good race in it last year. I'm sure he'd give a good account of himself. And stage start, put a line through his last run. I, I was probably looking for any excuse not to run him and probably shouldn't have done. He's come out of that well. Um, we've done the normal sort of physio treatment and one thing or another we do. He's in good shape, working well. Most importantly, he looks well and he does come good in the spring. So he'll go straight to straight to channel for the run out. And stay away, Faye, is the Brown Advisory the right race for that? I know you, you did flirt with potentially maybe the idea of the, of the Gold Cup, got an entry in the Gold Cup, but the, the Brown Advisory, definitely the race for him. Yeah, definitely. That's the only race he'll be in. I'm going to take him out of the National Hunt chase. Um, he'll run in that. He's in good shape. He's, he ran very well the other day in a, a race. He's learned a lot from that. So, yeah, that's that's his next target. Yeah, he ran great in that race in his first time in, in Open Company. Ginny's Destiny for the Brown Advisory or the Turners, probably the Turners for Ginny's Destiny, who's been the star of the show this year, hasn't stopped improving. Definitely the Turners, loves that track. He keeps improving, his form's rock solid. Um, I think he's got a great chance, obviously competitive race, but yeah, he goes straight for the Turners. And a couple of nice four-year-olds, uh, Kalef de Brule and Larry, who's who's had three wins. Um, two really nice horses and two potential runners in the Triumph Earl. Yeah, Lyar has got, I think he's 134. It's a very tempting, Mark, to go and run him in the in the Boodles. That's quite a nice Mark. A lot of horses around about 133, four or five upwards have won that race. So he's in both. That's a possibility. Khalif de Belay runs at Kempton uh, on uh, in the Adonis Hurdle a week on Saturday. Um, look, if he went in one very, very nicely there, I'm sure we might have to consider the, the Triumph Hurdle. Because the favourite at the end of the day is a, it's not a flat horse, it's a national hunt horse in the same vein as him. And... Um, He's an exciting horse, so Kempton will tell us whether we go to Cheltenham or entry. Excellent. And the last horse I'll ask you about, Paul, is Rabot. Obviously, he's had two nice wins this season. He bumped into Lossy Med last day. Is that a champion hurdle prospect, or do you go to entry? I definitely won't go to Cheltenham. I don't think he's even in the champion hurdle. He runs in the Axminster hurdle uh, this weekend at Wincanton, which is a track he likes. And then, I, you know, I actually think his last run will be the Scottish champion hurdle, which he won last year. He loves that track, better ground. And then, you know, he'll be chasing in the autumn. So he won't be having those big grade one races, you know, champion hurdle or entry at the moment. I'd say Wincanton air. 